And Scott told us he was still getting targets. And um, what was happening and what changed uh, in, the, in Saturday's game? Well, I don't think you look at just one area uh, when you ask what happened or what was going on. You go back to the NC State game. Um, we, we tar he was targeted quite a bit and you know, we had a lot of near misses. And really what you had to understand and what we all know too is a lot of uh, Bucky's uh, target throws. It's a lot of uh, high return, but it's a little bit of a, a high risk too. But uh, we, we didn't hit a couple of those. We had an opportunity to do so, I believe, over the course of the season. We, uh, go back to the first two games. Uh, I don't think uh, well, Bucky wasn't completely healthy, probably going into a couple of games, not uh, anywhere close to where he uh, has been and, and, and is now. Uh, I think that there's been some help defense uh, in a lot of occasions. In some occasions, there's been some uh, help defense, and uh, that's, that's opened uh, other windows for uh, other receivers or, or people out in some routes, and uh, that that's part of the game too. And so, when you look at it overall, uh, it's some of the factors gone into it. Uh, there's been some uh, opportunities that uh, we haven't connected on. Uh, obviously, the other night we, we, we hit those. We, we hit them. We missed one of them. Uh, Slightly overthrown, or he, he had a chance to make a play on the ball. Then, I think there's been some help defense. He wasn't as healthy in the first couple of ball games, and and then there's been some chance at times where either protection or quarterback's gotten rid of the ball a little quicker, and it, before he developed into a route. So it's been a lot of th a lot of things, but he's been productive for us. He's had a touchdown called back. Uh, he's drawn four pass interferences. So uh, there's been those opportunities. Uh, um, and uh, you know, the other night, uh, you know, kind of, we, we hit some balls that we needed to hit, and, and that helped the process too. How big an impact is Brewer being back though? I mean, it seems like that sort of changes the focus of the yeah, offense well, back to a passing. Well, I think it, I, I think uh, you know, with him being back, there's certain throws that Michael likes. It kind of fits into uh, certain wheelhouses and those type things. But uh, you know, Brennan did a fantastic job across the board, and. Uh, when he was in there, so I just think that the situation the other night, especially, uh, you know, Duke was a big, you know, played a lot of man, uh, didn't didn't give a lot of help, and we were able to create some opportunities where we, where we got some throws and we were able to connect on them. How is Bucky done in the non-pass catching stuff? I mean, you know, it's, a, it's I'm glad you asked the question. I really am because it, it's it's something that we haven't talked a lot about. He's done a really nice job on the perimeter. Now he. he, he uh, uh, got off late on the ball the other night uh, and, and didn't react to a, uh, a, a situation fast enough that hurt us on the perimeter. Uh, but he's blocked the perimeter well. Uh, a lot of the outside runs that you're seeing, especially in the last three to four weeks, uh, Bucky and, and Malik have really done a great job on the edge at the point of attack and, and tighter alignments for him. Uh, he's been able to uh, help. Uh, on the defensive ends and climb up the linebackers and secure the edge. and So he's done a nice job. Uh, that's probably an element we don't talk enough about, but he's done a really nice job in that part of it. So it's one area that he's worked hard to improve upon.